What's up YouTube, Sir Hunts Reviews, and I got my scenery a little bit different in this video. Um, I'm going to be doing some very popular uh, Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones questions, and then I'm going to answer a few of y'all's questions at the end. But before we get into all that, I'm going to start off with three breaking news stories. Alright, so there was a few more pictures added to the teaser photos that I did last night. I'll try to add a link to those down at the bottom. <clears throat> and we have gotten a release date for the trailer. There was a Twitter release, which brings me to the second thing, of a small clip. Um, <clears throat> I'll try to post a link down to that in the description as well. And in that small clip, we're taken inside the House of Black and White, the mini face room. Um, it's only like a 10 second super short teaser. They basically don't show anything but expanded shots of the few shots that we got last season 5. Um, when they focused on Arya's storyline down in Bravos. Uh, <clears throat> third thing is Valentine's Day is going to be the release date. Supposedly at 8.59. Um, and Sparta is supposed to be supporting their new series, Vinyl. They're going to be giving us the full trailer for season 6 of Game of Thrones. Thought you guys might want to know that. Um, I came across that on my internet ponderings earlier. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and get right into this uh, Q&A. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Laptop's in my lap. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Why can Walder only say Hodor? Well, I actually covered that the other day in uh, one of my other videos. Basically, he was hit on the head really hard by Robert Baratheon. Ever since then, he's only been able to say Hodor, and he's pretty much been mentally challenged. Who is Cold Hands? Cold Hands is most likely an undead Night's Watch member. Or an undead Night's Watch member that can be warged by Three Eyed Raven, aka Blood Raven, aka Brendan Rivers. Who is the Harpy? I don't actually know that one. Um, my book knowledge is not extensive enough to go ahead and give you guys a good enough answer to who the Harpy is. Um, yeah, so if you guys know who the Harpy is, or if you want to speculate on who the Harpy is, put that down in the comments section. Um, who is Azor High? Most likely, given that Stannis is now dead, he hasn't been confirmed to be dead in the books. He hasn't even, he's definitely still alive in the books, but um, he's confirmed dead on the show, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's Jon Snow. If he does, in fact, come back and then is resurrected somehow, I'm going to say that Azor High is Jon Snow. Um, who is the prince that was promised? That goes to the same thing. Probably the same thing as Azor Ahai. I think those prophecies are the same. A lot of people don't because there's some different descriptions of who the prince of promise was and who Azor Ahai is. Um, but I think the reason why the prophecies change a little bit is because Westeros does have different religions. So those different religions see shit a different way but ultimately I think Martin expands on a lot of shit and I think he's gonna try to keep that if those prophecies are real I think it's gonna be the same person <clears throat> what do the other slash white walkers want um it's not just to get to the other side of the wall <laughs> uh, I think they want I think their story is a little bit deeper than that and in winds of winter George R. Martin is supposedly supposed to del delve more into their world. So we're supposed to find out about their subculture. If they have um, something other than just the Knights King as their leader. Do, does he have generals? Obviously you can tell the difference between a normal white. Like somebody who's died, who died and then is reanimated by one of the White Walkers. And then you can tell the difference between the Knights King and the other White Walkers. The guys who can resurrect people. There's a difference in armor. Um, and the show progressively... Uh, their armor has been upgraded, but like I said, um, w he's going to delve in m into more into their subculture. Um, why does Euron Greyjoy cut out the tongues of his crewmen? Well, I'm going to take a rough show watcher slash a little bit of book knowledge guess and say that um, so they can't say shit. That's why most people remove their tongue. Like... It's the best way to, if you don't want to kill somebody because you still need them, obviously cut their fucking tongue out. I think there's a scene similar to that in Harry Potter. And I don't know what version of Harry Potter I've seen because it's definitely not from Harry Potter. Some fucking horror movie that I watched. Um, there's a scene just like that where basically 
they cut the person's tongue out so they couldn't say shit. Oh, American Horror Story. The guy. Uh, he sees some shit. The little maid dude. He sees some shit. And in order to keep him from saying anything, just to make sure, the witch girl cuts his tongue out. It's American Horror Story, Coven. Um, <clears throat> what happened to damp hair as a child? Damp hair as a child to make him fear Euron. I'm just going to come out and say this. I think Euron might have raped him. They hint about it a little bit too subtly in the books, and the only thing that I could think to give somebody that kind of fear about another person, just the thought of them gives them chills, I'd say it was rape. I'd say he got raped by his brother, maybe it was his way of proving dominance, I don't know, fucking weird. Greyjoys are like the closest thing you can get to pirates, pirates being on the ship for a while, everybody says the Navy guys are gay because they're out on the water for a while, no offense to the Navy, see I gotta watch the shit that I say, I'm not even gonna finish with that, but he got raped. Um, what happened to Lyanna Stark at the Tower of Joy? I'm gonna let you guys answer this. We'll say it together in three, two, one. She had Jon Snow and died at, at Jon Snow's birth. Um, what caused the doom of Valyria? I want to say a nuke. I want to say they were developing some kind of super fire dragon power shit, and it just so happened that it wiped all of them the fuck out. I mean, that's what he makes it seem like when you when we're given the descriptions and in the show, they haven't actually been there in the books, I don't think, but in the show they went there and well, it's been mentioned. Nobody, no POV chapter containing character has ever been there in person, but in the show Tyrion and what's his fuck? I think they actually sail around it, but you know, obviously Tyrion and Jura in the show make contact on me. Oh no, that does happen with Young Griffin Aegon. Book readers, correct me down in the comments. I'm going to move along because my knowledge is not that extensive. But basically, Doom of Valyria, they got blowed up. Um, Why did the dragons die? Well, that's simple. The magic left the world. Um, And not to mention, the, the smallest ones were kept in chains. And they were too small to even use in battle. So they never really grew up. Uh, where's Benjen Stark? Well, he's not outside, so don't go looking for him out outside, or you'll get stabbed Caesar style, like Jon Snow. Uh, he's probably dead, or north of the wall somewhere. <clears throat> Who is the ghost at Winterfell? Uh, I'm not too keen on this. So I'm gonna still. I'm just gonna say it's either Howland or Blackfish. Um, who wrote the pink letter? Well, books, Mance Raider, um, to get Jon Snow, obviously, to go down there to Castle Black. In the show, if they do the pink letter scenario, it's most likely going to be Ramsay Bolton. Um, where is Dark Sister and where is Blackfire? Those are two ancient Targaryen house blades. I'm going to say... They are, one of them is in the bottom of a lake. It was lost way back in one of the, either the second or third Blackfire Rebellion. And the other one just probably got lost at time. Maybe uh, it'll end up showing back up on the show because they haven't really touched too much on that. Of course, it's been aforementioned in like um, ancient myths and shit like that. But it hasn't actually been physically brought up and they haven't said, okay, here it is. We know what happened to Dark Sister. I think. Dark Sister is the one that's at the bottom of the lake, um, or that was found at the bottom of the lake and then later lost. Um, what is Aegon's true identity? Uh, I don't think very switched him at birth. I think um, Young Griff is who he says he is. I think that, like, okay, you can dye your hair just because you want to be like. Uh, old Griff, or whatever they call him, um, Griff, no, I think he's trying to hide his identity, because, I, I, I'll just say this, I think he's Aegon Targaryen, okay, I think he is who he is, um, who are Jon Snow's parents, Rhaegar and Lyanna, come on bro, you know that, <laughs> um, who is Robert Strong, and how was he created, well, he is Sir Gregor Clegane, and he was created by Maester Kyburn. Somebody who was kicked out of the Citadel for doing weird shit with sheep. He used to fuck sheep. No, I'm just kidding. He used to do weird necromancy shit. They kicked him out because they didn't like that. 
Um, all right, and surprise, I have some questions from you guys. Okay, wait a second. Not yet. I'm gonna say that for last but not least. Save the best for last, right, guys? Um, all right. These are questions pertaining to the pictures that I posted and made in a video yesterday that I read in an article. Um, of the, the top six questions we have left over from those pictures, I'm gonna read them to you and answer. Um, starting off with Sansa Stark. Did Sansa end up escaping, and is she pregnant? Well, obviously she escaped. She jumped off the wall, and I am one of those people who, yes, do think she's pregnant. Um, she'll probably drink that same tonic that um, her aunt Liza drank back when she had Peter Baelish's, back when she was pregnant with Peter Baelish's child when they were kids growing up. She'll probably uh, some maybe she'll run into Baelish again. I think she's actually supposed to, according to leak spoilers, he'll come up with that top, that tonic for her that's probably why it was mentioned in the plot because she they knew that they were gonna have her pregnant with Ramsey Bolton's bastard child um, I say bastard because he's a bastard so his child obviously would be a bastard even though they got married he was legitimized by another bastard so whatever dude however you want to say it um will season six be any closer to winds of winter than the aforementioned season one through five that's like my word of the day um I don't know I'm going to say, obviously, the, the, I, I wish the show would spoil some shit for the books just because George R. R. Martin's taking a sweet-ass time, and he's going to get a whole bunch of backlash. Not that he already doesn't for killing off people, but he'll get backlash for not writing the fucking book faster. Um, that was another one of the things I meant to mention in my news report earlier. Winds of Winter was pushed back. It was supposed to be out in the early spring of this year. It's been pushed back to maybe the beginning of 2017 or the end of this year. We don't fucking know. Um... What will happen between Jamie and Cersei? Well, hopefully no more twin sets. Jamie seemed to be changed a lot by what happened with um, Brian. Uh, yeah. So hopefully they stop doing that twin sets shit. Cersei will probably get what's coming for her. I felt bad for her last season, but she'll probably end up getting stabbed in the fucking face by Loras Tyrell. Um, can Bran walk again? I'm one of those people who think that yes, he will be able to, but everybody in the comment section thinks that he's just envisioning it and he's basically only walking because he's having a vision with Blood Raven. We will see when the show airs, April 24th, 2016, at 9 p.m. Um, where the fuck is the mountain? He was spotted, Rory McCain, the actor that plays. Um, I'm sorry, where the fuck is the hound? Obviously, he was um, spotted filming. Rory McCain, the actor that plays Sandor, quick game. Um, he was spotted filming and staying at the Belfast Studio Hotel that a lot of the actors stay at when they're in town filming at Belfast Studio. Um, he was not... Well, obviously, there was no pictures of him and Jon Snow. That was something that they're waiting to save for us for the, when the season starts. Um, will Marjorie charm her way out of prison? I don't know about charm her way out of prison, but she will definitely make them think she's brainwashed unless she actually really is brainwashed. Um, and that's it. And these are, I think, two questions from you guys that I didn't actually get a chance to answer to in the comment section because fucking Google doesn't like to notify me. Now, this is from V Flair or Vi Flair. Sorry, guy. I don't know how to say your name or a woman. Um, I know it would never ever. This is directly quoted from him. I know it would never ever happen. Um, but would love for it to be an ice dragon in the wall frozen waiting to be awoken. What if the Horn of Winter um, supposedly awakes dragons? What if it wakes the uh, – or supposedly wakes giants? What if it wakes the dragon? Just a cool thought. Um, that would be fucking awesome. The book does say that it is the Horn of Winter is known to wake giants. Um, if it would wake dragons, I don't know. Dragons, giants, kind of same mag magical scale. Uh, if we were having a war, I'd much rather have dragons on my team. But if it could, wake that. Awesome. Thanks for sharing your idea with us, buddy. I'll make sure that I respond to that faster next time. Um, and this one is from this last one's from Bad Dog Online. Um, this is from three days ago. It says, I think as a sworn brother, Sam Tarley has no choice but to return to the wall, unless the wall is destroyed while he's in Old Town. It's very possible that Sam may be one of the last surviving members. So when this is all over, will the wall be rebuilt? And will do still be a nice watch? Awesome fucking question, bit bro. I love the way that you wrote worded that shit. It is perfect. There are no spelling errors, so it was perfect for me to read. 
I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, I thought, now, I did some research, and I know I'm not right, but I thought that when a maester, um, doesn't matter where he is, like, when somebody gets sent to become a maester, they get sent to some house that, uh, wants them to serve for them. I didn't realize that since he's a brother of the Night's Watch, that he'd have to go back and be maester at the, uh, at Castle Black, but I do know that it takes about 20-some-odd years to become a maester, so if, if, if Sam does somehow stick with his training, he might be a maester back at the wall if there's still something left 20 years in the show. But I don't see Sam finishing his training. I feel like what happens in the books where Euron surprises and raids um, the Citadel or whatever, I think that's that was plot leaked. I think that part of the plot leak might have a little bit of, um, I don't know how to say it, gold to it because it, it kind of makes sense now that, that we know they're bringing Euron in the other day I know when I was doing the plot leak videos I kind of said that that was like wild and a little bit far-fetched and out there but I realize now doing a little bit more research that it's probably going to happen in the books or you see they're already happening in the books um but it'd be awesome to happen in the show and that'd be a good way of introducing Euron and bringing the Greyjoys back with the motherfucking storm um thanks for your question buddy and I hope I answered it for you uh basically to summarize what I set up um is that what well, uh yeah if if sam does end up if the night's watch is taken out sam goes back there and will if the wall does get taken down i'm sure they're going to rebuild it um and if sam is one of the last surviving members of the night's watch then i definitely think that's that would probably be why i wouldn't finish his training he'd definitely go back and check that out sorry man I'm a, my mind's a little bit all over the place um i realize this video is almost 17 minutes i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you click like subscribe sorry for the different framing and thanks for watching also if you have any more questions leave them down in the comment section peace this has been sir hunch reviews